CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration Magandang gabi Pilipinas at sa lahat ng nanonood sa buong mundo. This is CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration. The Manila Times Entertainment and Lifestyle Pages come to life on the Manila Times Digital TV. We are now on our fifth episode at maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng tuloy-tuloy na tumututok sa naiibang programa namin online. We are grateful as ever sa lahat sa inyo, especially those who continue to like and share our posted episodes as well as those who interact with us via their comments. Keep them coming please because as we always say, we are a work in progress and we value your thoughts and suggestions on how to make CSI, which is now becoming a favorite of many of our friends in the industry, better every time. Wag po kayong bibitaw. We promise to give you exciting news and fresh insights week after week. You can still watch our past episodes, of course, on the Manila Times TV and Facebook pages and through www.manilatimestv.com. And of course, Nasa online edition na rin po kami ngayon ng Manila Times, the oldest running newspaper in the Philippines. So pwede na rin po kayong manood doon ng CSI sa www.manilatimes.net. On to our showbiz and lifestyle news. Para sa balitaan, Puntahan at katuwaan sa show, ang mga kasama ko week after week are my fabulous reporter writers na sina Christina Alpad and Isa Iglesias while sa production side naman ay nandidyan ang aming EP na si Arlo Custodio with researcher Nika Roque assisting. Let's take a look at this week's winners and downers. Downer po ang pagkamatay ni Lito Legaspi sa edad na 77 noong September 8 dahil sa cardiac arrest. Nakaramdam daw ng paninikip ng dibdib ang aktor, amani na Zorian Kier at Brando Legaspi noong September 6 at ni Rush sa Cardinal Santos Hospital in San Juan. It was in 1959 when Mr. Legaspi started out in show business and became a contract star of the legendary Sampaguita Pictures. Isa po siya sa hanay ng mga matinee idols noong 1960s. He was last seen in a role on GMA Network's My Special Tatay just this year. Nakikiramay po ang CSI at ang pamunuan ng The Manila Times and The Manila Times Digital TV sa mga naiwan ni Lito Legaspi. Winner na winner naman ang presentation sa media ng YouTube Next Up Manila 2019 creators noong September 4. Twelve winners were chosen out of hundreds of thousands of Filipino creators or YouTubers, giving them a chance to realize their full potential and help them elevate their careers on YouTube. Kabilang sa circle of winners ay ang aktres na si Nadia Montenegro, singer-composer na si Caleb Santos, at ang indie music powerhouse, Reese Lansangan. YouTube took them on a week-long creator camp as well as provided them with 105,000 pesos worth of production gear including guidance and strategic account management support from the creator and artist development team of YouTube. Congratulations po sa lahat sa inyo. Downer ang isa pang pagpanaw na naganap over the week ng isa sa pillars of Glossy Magazine publishing in the country, ang Mega Magazine Group founder na si Sari Yap. Sari battled cancer for four years and died peacefully at 2 a.m. on September 9. CSI extends its deepest sympathies to the bereaved family and condolences are also offered by the Manila Times and the Manila Times TV. But as they say, ganyan po talaga ang cycle of life. So in the midst of the industry's losses, 
Winner na winner naman po ang announcement ni Nico Bolzico that his beautiful wife Solen Husef is pregnant with a baby girl. The Argentine model and businessman husband of the Filipino-French actress revealed on Instagram on Sunday that they had planned not to reveal their baby's gender. But since it turned out to be a girl, he had to lay down some rules as early as now for her would-be suitors. Sabi po ni Nico, and I quote, The suitor will sit down with me in a dark room with one light on, on one table where I will ask him 100 questions, and he must answer fast. Failing in one answer will result in elimination. Napakahirap ng test na pagdadaanan ng magiging mangliligaw ng anak nila, Nico and Solen. And then, sabi pa niya, if and when the boy qualifies, the eager father to be said, he will allow the suitor to take his daughter on a date, but, and I quote again, the first three dates, I will personally join in a separate table. Good idea! Pero Solen thinks Nico is crazy for setting the challenge and doesn't want to be part of it. In reply to her, Nico just said in jest, I guess she isn't a modern parent as me. Nakakatuwa po talaga ang mag-asawang Nico at Solen sa kanilang exchanges online. Pero mas nakakatuwa, I'm sure, pag lumabas na ang kanilang much-awaited first baby. Congratulations to the both of you. And yan po ang winners and downers for the week. But we have so much more in store for you in today's episode. Jan lang po kayo. CSI will be right back. The new era of Philippine TV has arrived. And we are here to lead the way. Here to deliver unbiased news. Here to spark fearless conversations. Here to redefine intelligence. Here to spread hope. Here to get your adrenaline pumping. Here to give you an inside look. Here to pay tribute to legends. And here to let your genius shine. At the end of the day, we're not just here to inform. Not just here to entertain. We're here to uplift the Filipino spirit. The Manila Times TV. Aspirational. Inspirational. CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration And we're back on CSI and of course with our Isa Pai our <laughs> CSI reporter Isa may nag-text sa akin at nag-comment Ang ganda ganda mo raw every week. Paganda ka ng paganda. Ang pangalan wow. ng Ian. Oh my God! Ah, kilala mo <laughs> siya. Ito yung name. Oo. Oh, oh. Bakit? Ah, Parang paganda ka ng paganda every year. Ganda ng makeup. No? Siyempre, ang makeup. Thank you po. Kaya Bambi Fuentes, a good friend. And of course, si Chris and Anessa for my hair and makeup. Ikaw naman, thank you, Miss T. Miss T. Nasa car pa lang. Oh, Ready na. Anyway, number one fan mo yata si Gian. But uh, mamaya na natin siya pag-usapan. Ang pag-usapan naman natin, what's your CSI report for the week? Ang CSI report ko po for today is certified fabulous. Fabulous! Okay! Piniplay times po ako ni Isa ngayon sa kanyang uh, script na prepare for me. So please bear with me. Yes, queen! Work! Slay! These are some of the words millennials these days use as everyday expressions. But not many of them are aware that these slangs actually came from drag queens. Once part of the LGBTQ community underground, drag is now being embraced by pop culture and even more inspiring mainstream fashion and reality. At the moment, drag culture is bigger than it has ever been and it has definitely reached the Philippines. History, in fact, has just been made in the Philippine lifestyle scene as the SM Store officially launched RuPaul's Drag Race 2018 winner Aquaria as its very first drag queen ambassador. Woot woot! The 23-year-old has appeared in global campaigns for Moschino and Mac Viva Glam and notably collaborated with designer Jeremy Scott and makeup artist Brand Nix. 
She has also graced the cover of such prestigious glossy titles as Vogue Italia, Gay Times, and Paper Magazine. Earlier this year, Aquaria made headlines as the first ever drag queen to walk the red carpet at New York's Met Gala and even shared the same table with Vogue's Anna Winter. Early September, Aquaria arrived in the Philippines for a media event and a meet and greet at the mega fashion hall of SM Mega Mall in Pasig City. Beforehand, the Manila Times enjoyed an opportunity to get to know more about this larger-than-life global fashionista. So check out his favorite stunning looks in the certified CSI report from Isa Iglesias. How much of your aesthetics is influenced or influenced by um, Charity, Dalsa Madalip, or Susan Warren? Um, well, fashion school definitely uh, informed a lot of my decisions when it comes to, like, I guess, design and creation. Uh, but for me, I've always been inspired by the nightlife and some of the legends of the past, the current, the future. Um, I think fashion and, and the club is always so on the edge of uh, every trend and uh, definitely is uh, the heart of a lot of style for a lot of New Yorkers. Um, so people like Suzanne and Amanda um, are just bold, fearless women that I, you, no one can help but to be inspired by, you know? I mean, I, you won't probably catch me in a teeny little Amanda Lepore outfit anytime soon, but um, maybe something more Suzanne y. Even this hair is kind of inspired by, you know, the types of crazy hair that Suzanne wears. How do you describe your drag aesthetics and how do you, did you develop it? Uh, for me, I usually go for something bold, something slightly unexpected, something that you are very familiar with, and then mix it with something that you don't know why that I paired it with, but it, you know, it somehow works. Um, I love focusing on really bold and, and uh, impactful makeup, sometimes a funky hair or two. Um, but I, I don't limit myself to like, I only wear blue or I only like dresses. You know, I love being able to mix things up day to day and be a, a sort of drag chameleon and, and always look a little bit different, you know? So um, I guess it kind of depends on the day, which is so hard. Uh, or, which is why it's so hard to pack for, you know, week-long tours and month-long tours. I'm like, but what if I'm going to want to wear something different? Some of millennials now, how do you pronounce the L-E-W-K? Looks. Looks. So, my neck action, right? It's a twister a little bit. But really, from what we saw and what you, you know, you reported to us from uh, the mega fashion hall, there's really not much to discuss na about the style mm -hmm. of uh, Aquaria. Aquaria. Talagang self-expression. No? Yes. Kahit anong gusto niya, kahit anong kulay, mm -hmm. kahit anong look, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, the confidence is there and she comes out yeah. of it. Mm -hmm. pero, pero maiba ko ng tanong. I want to know kung meron ba siyang mga na-discuss na issues about, you know, what's happening pa rin, no? Although siya, she's really famous now yes. all over the world. Were there any issues that she discussed concerning the LGBTQ? Ah, pagdating dito po sa Philippines, oh. syempre medyo maingay ngayon yung sa <coughs> LGBT bathroom issue these yes. days kasi syempre yung mga kumalat na video. So, so may nagkwento kay Aquaria Kento, about Ang matanong it. ng isang media reporter ah. po. Tapos na pick up po natin. And then, yun nga po, kasi nagkakagulo ngayon kung okay lang daw po ba yung mga transgender pumasok sa restroom ng pambabae yes. or panlalaki yes. pag sa mga um, transgender man. Tapos, ang nabanggit niya, medyo, medyo same situation yung nangyayari sa US. Taga New York po sila eh. Tapos, sa kanya daw po, nakwento niya, medyo strict din kasi yung ibang part, yung mga states, lalo na yung sa mga southern, southern part ng US. Po. Parang may mas conservative mas parts. Mas oh, 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 oh. So, so, ano daw nangyayari doon? Issue din, issue din kung pwede silang gumamit. So, siya, ano ang take niya dyan? Take niya po, medyo open-minded naman po siya. Kasi as, pag hindi siya nagda-drag, parang siyang lalaki siya eh. Oh, okay. Yung itsura niya. So parang wala siyang problema doon sa kung gusto ng transgender woman mm -hmm. sa pambabae siya mag-CR or what. So sa kanya, medyo open-minded siya. 
Tapos, nire-respeto niya kung ano yung rules. rules. Yes. Kung san, pero okay lang din kung saan mas comfortable yung tao daw po. Kung saan kung But, gusto niya mag-CR. You know, to, to hear that from, you know, a name, yes. di ba? In the LGBTQ community and a worldwide name at yeah. that. Aquaria. I think, mm-hmm. you know, it's um well, I wouldn't say naman a lesson, yeah. pero at least it opens up people's minds. Kasi right. ako nga, meron akong, you know, of course in our industry, a lot of my good friends are gay. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. um this has come up on the in the dinner yes, conversation. Yes. At sabi nila, sila daw, they'll rather just follow the rules. Mm-hmm. Diba? Parang minsan nga, tayo pa yung mas sensitive mm-hmm. doon sa mga pangyayari na yeah. yan, kesa mm-hmm. doon sa mga actual people who mm-hmm. are experiencing it and who are concerned. So, I think um, it was great for Aquarius mm-hmm. to say that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and siya naman, no fear, di ba? No fear Kahit siya. Kahit anong sasabihin niya. So that people will be a bit more open-minded. Yeah. Ang problema, I think, minsan, uh, the more we become too sensitive about mm-hmm. certain issues, mas lalong lumalaki. Oh. And it doesn't help, di ba? Oo. Sabi niya, depende rin naman sa culture eh. Especially, dito sa Philippines, di niya po alam kung anong take ng mga tao. Mm-hmm. So, Uh, may mga mali, may tamang side. So, yun na lang, respect na lang kung anong merong laws, yeah. rules. Nowadays, no, if you go to malls, um, especially, of course, the SM stores, ang, ang ganda-ganda, it's so colorful. Mm-hmm. I was just there the other day at yung pictures talaga ni Aquaria is all over. Yeah. Mapa-accessories ng babae, mapa-shoes and mm-hmm. all that. So, um, You know, I mean, I know the world is uh, quickly beca- changing at saka maganda, mas nagigita yung, uh, you know, we embrace all these yeah. changes. Pero yun nga lang, maybe we can learn a thing or two from Aquaria na things aren't gonna happen overnight, no? Uh, maybe sometimes may rules na nakasanayan, um, you know, mahirap baguhin agad-agad. Maybe at some point mag-change yan, but... For now, so maganda. Hindi lang fabulous si Aquaria. Yeah, with the Hindi heart, then siya. Hindi lang fabulous niya. But if fabulous din ang kanyang sharing dito sa Pilipinas. Has she flown back to? Yes, ma'am. New York. Mabilis oh. naman po yung kanyang event nin oh. dito after Saan that. Saan daw natin din siya ulit kaya makikita? I mean, besides, of course, this campaign for the SM store. But uh, where does she hope to go after? He's touring po eh. Uh-oh. So dito sa Asia siya umiikot. As and then babalik siya dun sa US kasi may mga shows siya sa mga yung mga drag shows po iba-ibang uh, bars tuli tuli pa rin pero po. I remember when I edited your story on Aquaria she was saying na gusto rin naman niya if an offer comes along for a movie a movie yes oh, very open po siya kasi eto nga daw pong endorsement na sa SM hindi niya in-expect hmm. na dadating so paano pa yung mga hindi pa niya akalain na dadating pa na projects kaya tulad sa movies, sa TV shows, ayun po. And open din siya sa mga reality shows na lalo na ngayong marunong siya maggawa ng damit sa fashion, oh, okay. mga project runway, ganun. Oh, okay oh. din sa kanya yung mga. Ang galing yun. nga eh. There's so much talent, no? Uh, in that one person. Mm-hmm. So, uh, we're glad na nakarating siya dito sa Pilipinas and we're very happy, Isa, that you took the time to go there. I'm sure yes. ang gulo-gulo nung time na yun. <laughs> Alam natin yung mga co- coverage na ganyan, yeah. mahirap din. Pero thank you for bringing us that wonderful, that fabulous piece yes. of news yes. about Aquaria. Yes, Queen! Yes, Queen. <laughs> Magbabalik po ang CSI! Mga isyong pinag-uusapan mga palitang laman ng pahayagan, impormasyong dapat yung malaman, tatalakayin, pupusisiin, at hihimayin ni Mario Garcia kasama ang kanyang mga panauhin sa harap ng bayan. Face Off! back with our next CSI report of course by Tina Pai. Tina, Tina I have a feeling may segue ako dito. So, <laughs> natungkol sa mommy ang iyong 
balita this week. But bago yan, kaya ko sinabi yung word na mami. Gusto ko kasing magka-chance ka na batiin ang happy, ah! happy 50th birthday ang mami mo. Diba? diba? Yes po. Happy 50th birthday po, Tinas mom. Happy birthday mo. Kasi Nako. syempre si Madam Arlene Alfad <laughs> ay lagi pong nakatutok yan sa CSI and I just wanted to let you know that you've raised such a wonderful, wonderful young lady. At uh, alam na yun, sinabi ko na rin yun sa kanya before. So, happy birthday po. I uh, hope you enjoyed your day. May birthday din si Reggie. Yes. Nanda oh, ano wala si siya. Oo, siya yung una ho naming pinlay times. Birthday din po niya. Happy birthday. And happy birthday advance to my little one, si Rai. He's going to turn 8 in a few days time. Naiyak ako. <laughs> Dami may birthdays. Pero kasi alam mo, ganyan talaga teen sa mga moms. You know? mm. If we could, we'd like to stop time para wag mag grow up ng masyadong mabilis mga anak namin. Mahal na mahal kasi namin. Everything about them, you'll understand that by the time ikaw naman ang magka-baby. Pero boyfriend muna. Pero ano ba ang report mo ngayon? Miss T, this week, ang bida sa ating report ay certified palaban. Palaban na, mami, the kind I, I like. Yes. Okay, so let's get on with it. Ever since the arrival of her adorable children Zia and Ziggy, Marian Rivera has always allowed the public to partake in the children's personal milestones. It doesn't mean, however, that the loving yet understandably protective mother will let netizens school her when it comes to parenting her children. Recently, umani ng concerns mula sa netizens ang Instagram story ni Marian where she was introducing solid food to four-month-old baby Ziggy. But Marian was firm and confident that what she was doing for her youngest is the best thing for him. The reason behind it, alamin natin sa certified CSI report ni Christina Alba. Bilang pasintabi at bilang pagrespeto sa kapwa ina na nagtanong sa akin, isinabit ko siya ng maayos. Uh, bawat inaalik kanya-kanyang sitwasyon, kanya-kanyang pagpapalaki ng anak. Sabi nga nila, ang anak ko, sarili kong pagpapalaki. Kung gano'n kung gusto palaki ng anak ko, it's my rule. Diba? Kanya-kanya tayo. Pero this time kasi yung uh, penetration ko is inalaw na si Sigi to eat solid food. So, napakain ako ng solid food, which is ayon sa WHO na kailangan pinapakain ng isang bata 6 months pataas. Pero yung anak ko kasi is going to 5 months pa lang. Pero binigyan akong pahitulot ng penetration ko na pwede na. Alam na si Zigi, but small amount. But still, ang breast milk pa rin, ang kaming source talaga ng food na pinakami. Kung baga, ini-introduce mo lang sa bata ang mga, mga solid. And then, syempre, parang baka daw nagbibigay ako naman sa mga information o whatever. So sabi ko, okay, sasagutin ko siya. Pero sana, ang hiling ko lang sa bawat kapwa ina, eh huwag tayo makasakit ng kapwa ina. Wala namang anak o ina ang naghahamad na mapahamak ang kanilang anak. Siyempre, ikaw, galing sa iyong anak mo, lahat gagawin mo, lahat ng pagmamahal, lahat ng pagbibigay mo, di ba? Alam mo namang ipahamak mo ang anak mo. Pero nire-respeto ko yun. Sabi ko nga, kung para sa kanya, ang information ay dapat 6 months mataas, okay, fine. Pero ito ako, ito ang gusto ko, ito ang gagawin ko. Diba? Kanya-kanya tayo, i-respeto natin ang bawat isa. Kasi itong advokasyo ko sa pagpa-breastfeed, eh, hindi naman nangangatwila na nagpakain ako ng breast, ng ng solid food, ang ibig sabihin na ibigitawan ko ang pagkapasuso sa anak ko. No, definitely no. Dahil hanggat kaya ko, hanggat may lumalabas, gagawin ko yun para sa anak ko. Dahil si Zia, two years ko ang pinasuso sa akin. So walang dahilan para hindi ko siya gawin dito sa second one ko. So hanggang ngayon, actually kaya ako medyo natagalan, nag-pump muna ako bago pumunta sa inyo. And then on the way ko, gagawin ko uli yan pagdating sa bahay, last yung anak ko. So wala akong nakikita ang masama. Pero sabi ko nga, kanya-kanyang pagpapalangin ng anak, irespeto natin ang bawat isa bilang isa. Pinapay, syempre, we're always, always interested sa mga nangyayari sa buhay ng ating primetime queen mm -hmm. na si Marian Rivera. And um, I'm sure uh, people are thinking the same thing. The question is whether it's really difficult to be a celebrity parent in the age of social media. Pero I want to save that no, para sa CSI exchange natin mamaya para pati yung entire team natin, they can weigh in on that issue. Yes. Talagang balik pa rin ang balik. So, may iba naman tayo. Still on Marian, of course. But I know na medyo may issue din 
uh, na may gusto yata at may request sana ang mga fans niya sa kanya na hindi niya mapagbigyan. Tina, tell us all about that. Kasi po, uh, si Ding Dong Dantes has, was stopped na maging bida sa remake ng Descendants of the Sun sa Philippines, a popular Korean drama. Big deal yan. Super big deal. And hanggang ngayon, um, as of taping, wala pa rin nire-reveal si GMA na leading lady. So, syempre si fans na mimis si Marian and mm -hmm. then parang sabi nila, sana daw siya na lang yung maging ka-love team ni Ding Dong. Siya yung gumanap na doktora kang dun sa show. Kaya lang, since nga nabunti si Marian and um, nanganak, eto ngayon, parang sabi niya, hindi pa rin talaga siya ready to go fully na buo sa entertainment na mag-taping and all because super bata pa nga naman po kasi. Nung kanyang... Mm -hmm. The same thing happened, um, parang siguro para sa aming mga nagsusulat, no, uh, journalists ng show business, uh, we will really clearly remember that the first time then she became a mom with the Zia, ganyan-ganyan din, no, parang inunti-unti niya lang yung balik sa, sa showbiz para lang din makontinue niya yung presence niya, parang she had a show, um, I don't know if it was a talk show at that time, pero ngayon it's just probably Sunday Pinasaya, and yung that uh, OFW. Tadhana, Tadhana yung kanyang hinahost din po. Yung mga yon talagang she can control the schedule. So yes. May taping days mm -hmm. lang. Siya kaalam niya kung gaano lang siya katagal mawawala. Eh, breastfeeding advocate oh, po. Opo, isa pa nga po yun. Although ngayon kasi pwede na mag-pump yung moms para ano, may milk na yung anak nila kahit wala sila at that time. Pero kasi sabi nga niya, since meron na rin siyang toddler na si Zia, Ah, sabi din kasi niya, ano eh, hatid sundo niya pala si Zia ah, sa school. Ah, she goes to school. Mm -hmm. Ang bata. Yes. Well, actually, si Ziggy din eh, parang usually, di ba, pag pinapanganak pa lang ho yung mga babies, you don't, you can't say how they look like, sabi nila. Uh, but si Ziggy, napakagwapo. Yeah. Super right defined away. na yung kanyang mga What features. What uh, Dong Marian, talaga namang the mix is just... Yeah, no doubt, ang tawag sa kanila ay perfect. Family oh, sa oh social my. media. Oh, oh and you know, parang um, I think it's ano naman talaga. The the two of them really really work hard on their relationship and and also their you know raising their kids. Mm -hmm. And um, minsan alam mo yung parang hindi genuine na uh, inspirational couple. Eh. Pero itong dalawang to parang kita mo talaga na maybe they've been together for such a long time. Parang they're always in step. They're always in sync with each other. At masaya naman talaga Tina pa yung makakita sa showbiz ng pamilya na buo mm. and solid. Mm -hmm. Diba? Kasi ang hirap-hirap ng, ng showbiz. True. Maraming nice. temptation. Maraming mga kung ano-ano nangyayari. So, maganda naman din kahit na nag-know siya. I think all the better for their family. Na maging hands-on, hands-on. Yes. Si Mami. Marian. Diba? Mm -hmm. Parang Mami mo lang. Kung hands-on <laughs> Balik ko ulit ang kanyang 50th birthday. Yeah. Uh, and um, marami pang, marami pa tayong balita. Yeah. Kaya dyan lang sila. Magbabalik po ang CSI. CSI. Celebrity Style Inspiration. And you're still watching CSI, Celebrity Style Inspiration, the Manila Times Entertainment and Lifestyle pages come to life on the Manila Times Digital TV. On the third episode, we introduced a new segment kung saan may one-on-one -on -one interview tayo with Miss Jean Garcia, ang lead star ng Pista ng Pelikulang Pilipino 2019 entry na Watch Me Kill. The T-Zone on CSI po ang title ng segment na ito na nanggaling po sa column ko sa Manila Times Lifestyle and Entertainment. For today's episode, we have Gabay Guru Chairman Che Cabal Revilla who will talk about the meaningful and star-studded advocacy para sa ating mga teachers sa buong Pilipinas. Let's watch my interview with Che. Our guests today, well, she's one of the youngest and most successful finance leaders in the Philippines behind a giant conglomerate that is PLDT, Smart, and other fixed and wireless brands. 
Um, but no matter how busy she is, she only comes out and uh, speaks to media when it's about her passion and her advocacy, which is what we're going to talk to her about today. So please welcome Ms. Che Cabal Hello, Ms. Che. How are you? Thank you for coming despite the rain. Thank you very much for granting us this interview before the day gets very busy. So as I was saying, no, um, Ruga by Guru is something that uh, the rest of us, of course, in showbiz um, connects with big concerts and all that, but there's so much more that goes behind it. Could you just give us a really brief, brief description on what Gabay Guru is about? Uh, Gabay Guru is really about um, furthering education in the Philippines through the teachers. Because uh, with the teachers, there's a multiplier effect. We have good students, good education, to good teachers. So with teachers, um, we provide them scholarships, full scholarships um, during their four years of education um, in college. And with uh, uh, the, we provide the tuition and their allowances. We also provide tributes, like the tribute event that we will hold in Moa Arena. We also do regional events and bucket events all over the country. We give them trainings for many uh, programs like English proficiency, uh, internet learning, etc. Uh, we also do live programs for the teachers and their families to supplement their income. So they will stick with teaching. Uh, we also do scholarship uh, broadbanding and computerization. So we provide internet connectivity through uh, computer labs. We provide uh, laptops and computers. We donate computers and laptops to public schools. And there are also partners that provide mga uh, computer labs in wheels like si Arnold Pineda, yes. mga ganon. And then we also provide educational facilities, classrooms, and housing for teachers. And now we have uh, another pillar called innovation. We have a, a platform or, a, or an app for the teachers which make their lives easier. Kasi di ba, a lot of things are manually done. Yes. Their lesson plans, the checking of the, the students' attendances, and then the, the announcement to the parents and to the admins, etc. Very special ang Gabay Guru sa inyo because of, of it being such a huge part of your personal life. So, um, let's share a message to our teachers to join you once again this year for this wonderful tribute that you do for them. Taon, taon. To our beloved teachers, maraming maraming salamat po sa sakripisyo, pagmamahal at pagtuturo niyo sa aming lahat at sa mga anak namin and the future of the Philippines. We know very well how important you are to the community and to the country. And please um, be assured of our love and support to you. Uh, our Gabay Guru program has grown to be what it is right now because of your inputs. And we welcome all of your um, recommendations and we love to hear from you what your needs are for us to be able to help you in furthering education in the country. So, um, Gabay Guru is actually there for you every day and our love for you, like um, Valentine's and Christmas is not just seasonal, but our love for you and I, our, our gratefulness to you will always be every day for the rest of our lives. CSI, Celebrity Style Inspiration. Nasa dulo na naman po tayo ng CSI. Time flies when you're having fun. And kasama ko, of course, the wonderful and fabulous CSI team. Kulang ng isa. Because nasan ba? Sinika? Nasa Tagaytay. Nasa Tagaytay. Ang layo-layo. Pero kasama po natin ang EP namin, of course, si Arlo Custodio. And, of course, our reporter, writers, CSIers, uh, Tina and Iza Pai. Puro pay po ang tawag ko sa kanila. <laughs> Mahilig ko ako sa dessert. But anyway, uh, we are now here on CSI Exchange para magbatuhan naman po kami ng aming mga ideas at mga... Well, our takes no, on one of the more interesting topics that we talked about today. And I have to say, I think, yung question ko sa inyo ngayong linggo, mahirap bang maging celebrity parent ngayong age of social media? Dahil nakita natin, si Marian just went out there and said that she's trying to feed her young guest, no? si Ziggy, ng uh, solid food at four months. And ang dami-dami nang nag-react. So, what can you say, Arlo? Napakahirap ba? Ah, mahirap ngayon kasi marami nang kikialam. Ang dami kasi pakialam na rin fans. <laughs> <laughs> Talaga nga ang mga sinasabi ni Arlo lagi, may tira ng konti. Oh, no. Tina, you were the one there. Anong masasabi mo? Uh, mahirap po kasi as much as gusto mong mag-share, nandun yung, din yung, ano, yung price na parang 
feeling nila, involved na rin sila mm-hmm. sa lahat ng detalye. Yes. Oo, kasi nga, nakikita na nila ang buhay no, ng, ng mm-hmm. artista sa araw-araw, especially those who are active in social media. Mm-hmm. Para sa sa'yo, Iza Pai, what do you think? Sa akin po, uh, okay na maging inspiration yung mga idol nila. Pero sometimes kasi yung ibang mga tao, mga fans, parang they feel like they own their idol. So, parang hindi na nila na protectionan yung kanilang private life and yung mga decision nila sa buhay nila. Pero guys, of course, the argument can also go both ways. Yeah. Some fans might say na kung ayaw nyong may mag-comment sa mga posts ninyo, maybe you shouldn't really share that much. No? Yeah. Nandun din yung issue ng oversharing kasi. Ah, so, okay. I guess kung ayaw mo magka-comment sa'yo, medyo bawasan na lang. But I think si Marian lang naman, no, knowing how she has been no, ever since nagi siyang nanay, eh talaga namang yun ang priority niya eh. Yes. Kahit na yung career niya is on the up, she's willing to forgo shows mm-hmm. para maalagaan yung mga anak niya, mm-hmm. si Zia at si Ziggy. And I think all she really wants to do is, she's happy as a mom. Yes. And because she is a child of the social age din mm-hmm. naman, Automatic sa atin eh. Yes. No? Pero siguro ano lang yan, talagang hindi ito matatapos na sitwasyon mm-hmm. among fans and celebrities. ba? Diba? Parang magtutuloy-tuloy yan na meron talagang magpo-post, tapos pag may nag-comment, hindi sila matutuwa. Mm-hmm. So, Walang tama. So ano, ano hashtag dyan? Hashtag <laughs> torn. live with it. Torn? Hashtag torn? Let or it ha- Let it be. <laughs> oh, oh. Or... Kung kayo naman si Chris Aquino, switch off nyo yung comments. Yeah. Meron siyang mga posts na she... Di ba may natutunan din po tayo kay Madam Chris Aquino? <laughs> uh, she just switches off the comments page. Yeah. No? Mm-hmm. So, maraming ways. And I think the reason why we don't yet know the different ways of handling this beast na social media is because bago pa lang eh. Bago yeah. pa rin naman siya. Kahit matagal na siyang nandyan. Uh, bagong bago. And I think kaya rin yung mga tao... Uh, masyadong eager din mag-comment mm-hmm. kasi bago pa rin. Oh, so, yeah. so, ayan. Sana mag-settle down mm-hmm. ang life. Yes. Parang tayo, chill. Yes. Para yes. chill lang. Yes. ba diba? So, ba diba, Tina, kahit mm-hmm. nung may nagsabi sa'yo tungkol kay Yam Yam na <laughs> sana tinanong mo na lang straight yung uh-huh. si, si cousin yes. na cousin pala siya, eh, hindi naman po kami nag-react. Kasi interaction ho talaga yan eh. At, uh, at nakapag sundot kami yung konti. <laughs> konti lang. Pasensya na po, kinlear naman natin. So, uh, yon Yun ang lesson niya. And there you have the fifth episode of CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration. The entertainment and lifestyle pages of the Manila Times come to life on the Manila Times Digital TV and the Manila Times Online. Thank you very much to my hardworking team, Arlo, Tina, Tina, Isa, <laughs> at Sinika po, all the way in Tagaytay. She also helped us still with uh, this episode. And also our Manila Times TV technical team na ang gaganda ngayon because may event kami tonight. <laughs> Hindi niya ma-shake ang teleprompter to say hi this week. Of course, Jesse, Nathan, Jello, JM, and Joaquin. Make sure to join us every Tuesday for new episodes of the hottest and newest online TV show on the Facebook pages of... CSI, CSI and the Manila, Manila Times TV and officially on the Manila Times dot net. Okay. <laughs> Ayan po. Make sure to click us again next week and see you mga CSIers and good evening. Bye! I, celebrity style inspiration.